afternoon, good evening, beautiful people. How are we doing? Happy Saturday, happy weekend. Excuse me, I just woke up from probably like a three hour nap because I woke up at super early to go on a little hike this morning. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to hop on super quick and give a short little message uh, for today's uh, morning message, afternoon message. Um, to keep this streak alive, I think we're on 18 days in a row. So, yeah, let's hop in. Okie dokie. So, today's message is going to be on, excuse me, the little story I found or I saw the other day um, that I reposted. It was a real on to my story of the story of the Chinese farmer and this idea of maybe and good and bad. So, yeah, let's let's get it. So I was looking more into it and this story, I don't know, I think it's probably some proverb or anecdotal story to teach a lesson, right? And it was actually from this, I think he's some kind of philosopher. Um, his name's Alan Watts. And I actually used to listen to a lot of his, his lectures they have on, that he has on YouTube and like in college and stuff. And he has someone like, like love which is actually interesting maybe i'll do a, a message on that sometime um but basically he was the one that kind of was listening to his story that he kind of made on this this chinese proverb of of this chinese farmer right so there's basically the story goes like this so the chinese farmer so the chinese farmer has this horse and his horse runs away and all of the neighbors in the whole town gather around and they say well that's terrible and the Chinese farmer says, maybe. And so the next day, the horse that ran away brings back with it to the Chinese farmer seven wild horses. And all the neighbors and all the town gather around and they say, well, that's amazing. And the Chinese farmer says, maybe. And the next day, the Chinese farmer's son is riding one of these wild horses trying to tame it. And he falls off and breaks his leg. And all the neighbors in the whole town gather around and say, well, that's terrible. And the Chinese farmer says, maybe. And the very next day, after that, the conscription officers came around looking for people to join the army. And they deny the Chinese farmer's son because he had a broken leg. And all of the neighbors and all the town gather around and say, well, isn't that wonderful? And the Chinese farmer says, maybe. And at the very end of his lecture, Alan Waltz goes on to say that kind of the, the moral of this proverb, this story, is that the whole process of nature is an integrated process of immense complexity. It is really impossible to tell whether anything that happens in it is good or bad, because you never know what will be the consequences of a misfortune, or you never know what will be the consequences of good fortune. So just to add in my little two cents at the back end of this little message today, I think the points that I'd like to point out would be that you know, I think oftentimes, and I'm just speaking from my personal experience, um, and maybe some of you can relate, maybe some of you um, may not, but, so I, like in my personal experience, I think oftentimes I will, I'm doing a better job of this now, but I think I, I used to label a lot of things as good or bad that would happen to me, right? Like my day is going to be dictated by how many bottles of shampoo I knock down in the shower in the morning. Um, if I spill my coffee on myself, um, if, I get honked at when I'm driving somewhere. Um, like I almost, re- I almost said that to myself, manifesting it almost in a way that, oh, oh it's going to be a bad day because all of these things may have happened, right? Or the complete opposite, right? Um, maybe something good happens, and I kind of say, oh, it's, we're having the best day today. We're having the best week, right? And all these good things are happening. Um, And kind of just to speak on a little bit of those two contrasts and how I kind of see this message is that in my experience, I think it's super important to, you know, maybe, maybe see past objectively bad things that may happen. Because I know in my personal experience, sometimes the, the objectively worst things that could happen that have happened to me have honestly turned into being the best things in the moment is when I actually label them temporarily as being bad. So, and maybe just a super simple example would be locking myself out of my car. I've done that several times and (laughs) in the moment, 
it's a little frustrating, but you know, those are the times when I've actually been able to, you know, my friend put me onto a podcast that's really changed my life. Um, I met one of a really, my really good friends at the gym that I got a good workout, good workout in um, at Gold's here, you know. Um, and so I think what has actually worked for me and, you know, people that come into and out of your life, um, whenever, like in the moment, whether that's breakups or whether that's friends that you have fights with their family, like temp, these are all temporarily, if you want to label them as good or bad, like they're temporarily bad things. That's actually the, and can actually serve you and actually and do serve you. And like they open up windows and doors and opportunities for you to meet new people and bring new people into your life or experience new things like jobs, right? If you don't, if you change jobs or, or lose your job or, um, change careers, industries or whatnot, there are all these windows of opportunity for you to kind of see things differently, experience everything differently in a new way. So I think the whole point of the proverb is that you never really know whether anything that happens to you throughout your days or happens for you throughout your days, bad and then good or good and bad, that whether or not it is good or bad, right? You don't know how everything plays out. And just to throw in a little caveat, I think obviously the point of the whole message is that, or the proverb is that almost labeling these things make the other more extreme. If something good, if something is super bad, then something is then super good. And there's this like these extremes, right? But I think in my experience, <clears throat> how I kind of seem to look at these things is, is really enjoying these objectively good things that that occur and make me feel good and, and people that make me feel good when I'm spending time with them, um, or experiences that whatever it is, um, like enjoying foods, like indulging in foods and indulging in experiences, really indulging in that word in that time. And then really saying maybe to the things that may be bad, like you don't know how it'll, it will actually serve you later down the line. So yeah, ultimately just wanted to cap this message off by saying that you never really know if a thing that happens to you or for you is really good or bad because you never really know the whole picture. Like you never really know how everything plays out and that really, really good thing or that really, really bad thing might just be the thing that changes the direction or course of the rest of your life. So yeah, just be open to not labeling things so much, indulging in the good, saying maybe to things that might not be so great <laughs> that happen to you throughout your days. And yeah, just keep moving forward and killing it and kicking it at life. So yeah, that is all I got for uh, today's message. I hope you have a great Saturday night and I will see you tomorrow for another message. Love you guys always. Peace.